mobile port. This mobile port is using for mobile connection to touch panel. In here, you are defining a uh, port information. Also, we must do port forwarding in our firewall or routers. Okay. We are uh, we must define uh, this mobile port uh, for uh, we must define this mobile port uh, different for our uh, all touch panels because if we give same ports to our touch panels they will be uh, merged they will be mixed okay the next one is mobile screen password this is for security uh, while entering the mobile uh, mobile screen in touch panel uh, the application will ask you a password for security because all person can enter this page and can see you uh, can see passwords and uh, mobile connection information then they can connect and control your homes for this uh, we have a mobile screen password for entering this page the other control is nodes. This is for information, your databases. Uh, because uh, after your uh, programming, maybe uh, the other uh, programmers can go to the project and wants to know what is in this project. You can, uh, you can define some information for your uh, database, in, uh, database programming to your uh, other programmers. The next one is a uh, news RSS feed. Uh, this uh, our touch panels are working, uh, getting uh, news from your net server, uh, and this news uh, matching with IDs. Okay. Uh, also, this uh, this news uh, can t can change from uh, customers in UI. Also, we have screen saver in touch panel. We have digital clock or black screen and also none. Okay, you can define your screen saver at beginning of programming. programming. Also, we have timer for screen saver. How minutes later screen saver will start to work. Okay. And next opportunity, we have screen saver password. After uh, after screen saver uh, closing, uh, you can ask a password to your users for security. For example, for your child, for your customers, you can ask a password. The next opportunity is screen saver run Kanex job. This is uh, working like this. After, while screen saver is closing, you can send a Kinex address to your Kinex bus. This is using for uh, bedroom touch panels or corridor touch panels. After you touch to screen saver and screen saver disappearing and running a Kinex job in bus. So you can open your lights on corridor, lights on uh, room, etc. Okay. You are defining your address in here. And which value? One bit value. One or zero. Also, you can define start hour and stop hour. Okay. The next one is financial types information. This financial types getting from your net server. You are uh, defining a, a local money information in server, and uh, after touch panel starts, uh, asking to server uh, these informations. For example, dollar and euro. Uh, converting from your net server and coming to touch panel and you are seeing okay database version is for information you cannot touch here and project name you are defining 
project name again enter a name uh, you are giving a name for this touch panel okay for example uh, flat one touch panel and enter ID this is using for our serial number you can enter this uh, area to touch panel uh, serial, no serial number for information uh, this uh, database is belong to which a uh, serial number touch panels okay it's uh, you can define or you cannot okay the next one is more important system password the application is using this password while enter uh, you while you want to enter uh, Android settings from uh, inter application inter application will ask you a password uh, and uh, the password is here we prefer to you uh, change the password change this password for your all project also if you have chance you you must change for your all internal touch panels okay the next one connects read write delay milliseconds this is for uh, multiple run for connects jobs okay for example scenarios for example all open all close jobs for each uh, command uh, this delay time will work one command and delay one command and delay you can define uh, here uh, a delay time uh, for millisecond uh, and you can uh, make your connex bus healthy okay also next one for connex uh, bus healthy read all connex address on boot Uh, inter touch panels work with feedbacks okay in uh, while opening inter application uh, will ask all address in bus which is your status okay uh, one by one uh, our touch panels will ask uh, your status uh, to uh, connect status in connect address okay you can close this control for your uh, Kinex bus healthy. For example, in uh, in one project you have uh, four touch panels in one flat, and uh, while electric gun and come, your four touch panel will ask what is your uh, Kinex status to your Kinex address. So your uh, Kinex bus will be uh, will be have a traffic. So we don't want to this. You can uh, you can close Connex read other three touch panels and you can give one touch panel to read functionality. So one touch panel can read all Connex addresses and the other three touch panel uh, gets last status of address from bus line. Okay. Show exclamation on Connex feedback error. This is for uh, installation helps. Okay, uh, for example, you are defining a lighting. Uh, you have a on-off address and status address. We are sending on-off uh, uh, value, but uh, not coming a uh, feedbacks. Okay, if we select this control, if we select this control, uh, if we send on-off command and not coming status, uh, program will show a exclamation red exclamation on light okay uh, so you can understand we have a feedback error in connex bus the other uh, control is back to home page on camps menu we have a uh, camps menu uh, working with rtsp or mgpeg protocol for uh, camera mode camera uh, views okay uh, you can uh, always watch your cameras uh, in touch panel uh, and you you don't want to return to home page after one minute because our touch panel if you are not using to modules if you are not using the touch panel after one minute it will return to home page 
So in Kant's manner, you cannot want this, maybe. And so uh, if you click out this one, uh, in Kant's manner, uh, your touch panel will not return to home page.